Marcus Conti reporting on the tragedy in New Zealand. Not the tragedy of the shooting, we already heard about that one, but the tragedy of the man who shared a video, shared a video of something, and uh, was today sentenced to 21 months in prison for sharing information, sharing something that millions of people saw freely on Facebook and and file sharing uh, uh, opportunities and such, right? Remember the video, right? So this is a this is a uh, it's a disgrace. I mean, there's only what 4.7 million people in New Zealand. How many of them are complaining, right? In 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 Hong Kong, you saw seven million people. If something goes wrong, two million people hit the street. In New Zealand, silence, right? They they're they're okay with this. You're okay, New Zealand. New Zealand, listen to me. Pay attention. You're okay with sending a man to prison for 21 months for sharing a video. Are you kidding me? Uh, so let's look at the evidence. Let's look at the evidence. Let's look at um, the woman, the, the the wonderful prime minister of New Zealand, the Muslim woman right, who, who led the charge to lock this guy up. Man who shared New Zealand uh, massacre video gets 21 months in prison. <laughs> Unbelievable. New York Post reporting. Willington, New Zealand, a, ch- a Christchurch businessman who shared a video of worshippers being slaughtered at a New Zealand mosque was sentenced Tuesday to 21 months in prison. Wow. How many, how many laws, how many uh, violations of the Constitution if that occurred in the United States, how many violations are there? I have freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of expression, whatever else, right? Freedom, right? Freedom. Right? The, guy, the guy published a, 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 an ad or sent, it, sent a video to, I mean, how many people saw the video? The, the object of the video was to an, analyze the video in a, in a non-attached um, uh, way, right? Not, not someone who may have been, uh, a victim of this her- horrific crime, but to to actually analyze the evidence. Right? People are not allowed to analyze evidence, right? at least not in New Zealand. At least here, here all you do is you get a YouTube gives you a copyright strike because these jerk offs in New Zealand keep pu- plugging and pushing and trying to enforce their bullshit censorship down everybody's throat. New Zealand, here you go. This one's for you, right? So let's read a little bit. <laughs> I digress. Philip Arps had earlier pleaded guilty to two counts of disturb distributing the video, which was live streamed <laughs> live streamed on Facebook by a gunman on March 15. Right? Now, this is not to make light of the situation. The situation, the crime itself, if at all a crime, the man is is still innocent until proven guilty. Correct? Right? Is that still the case even in New Zealand? Is is someone guilty first and then they have to prove their innocence or are they innocent first and they have to be proven guilty what is it New Zealand do you even know anymore do you even know uh, so so uh, allegedly right a man distributes a video right uh, and he pleaded guilty to distributing this video of a, of, of a gunman on March 15th as he began killing 51 people at the mosque Right now, if that is what happened, that's a terrible thing. Right? No one's making light of that, but the fact—the fact—no one's making fun of it either. Right? No one's mocking it. No one's harassing and bullying the people that were 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 murdered, allegedly murdered. Right? No one is doing any of that. All this is is this is called journalism. That's what this is. This is looking at the evidence in the situation and and throwing it out there so as many people as possible can see the evidence in the situation not to stuff the evidence but to 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 look at the evidence and and make an assessment as to what the hell happened so philip arps had earlier pleaded guilty to two counts i just read that three times i apologize christ church uh district Court judge Stephen uh, O. Driscoll said that when questioned about the video, Arps had described it as, quote, awesome and had shown no empathy towards the victims. What, 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 what is he supposed to say? Oh, it's so fucking tragic. 
Oh my god, I can't believe what I just saw. <laughs> that's better. That's the that's the we have to respond properly. A person is not allowed to to respond. Maybe he says, Wow, it's awesome in a in a terrible way. What does awesome even mean? It's just the judge said ARP had strong and unrepentant views about the Muslim community. <sighs> Who cares? And in effect committed a hate crime. Oh my god. What is going on? What is going on? The judge said Arp had compared himself to Rudolf Hess, a Nazi leader under Adolf Hitler. Who cares, really? Who gives a shit about these guys' fucking views and images? Who cares? It's a video. It's a video of an alleged crime that, that was distributed freely on Facebook. Right? Why aren't you arresting Facebook? Why isn't why isn't uh, fucking Facebook guy doing twenty one months in jail? Why is the guy who who got the video uh, freely, right, uh, uh, going to jail? It doesn't even make sense. So O'Drissel, the judge, said Arps had sent the video to thirty associates. The judge said Arps also asked someone to insert crosshairs and include a kill count in order to create an internet meme. Although there was no evidence, he shared the meme. Under uh, New Zealand laws aimed to prevent the distribution of objectable material, Arps faced up to 14 years imprisonment on each count. The judge said Arps had uh, argued he had a right to distribute the video under the banner of freedom to pursue his political beliefs. Arps' lawyer uh, told the judge that Arps should not be sent to prison. <clears throat> Quote, it is my submission that this court needs to be very careful to sentence Mr. Arps based on what it, what, is, what it is that he has actually done and what he accepts he has done, not on the basis of the views that he holds, his lawyer said. Well, that's true, right? It's, it's, it's not about, it's about what he has done, which is got a video and said, hell, dude, this is awesome. Check it out, man. Fucking... <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is a fucking video, man. It's fucking real. It's fucking fake. What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck. Check this video out. It's awesome. It's fucking, it's so, yo, you got to see this video. It's awesome. Is that, that's a crime. Wow. What a fucking, what a world we live in. After the hearing, William said Arp had filed an appeal against the sentence at the high court and declined to comment further. Australian Brenton Tarrant, 28, last week pleaded not guilty to 51 counts of murder, 40 counts of attempted murder, and one count of terrorism in the mosque shooting case. His trial has been scheduled for next May. So he pleaded not guilty. Not guilty. What does that mean? Not guilty. As opposed to guilty, I did it, uh, 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 pleading not guilty. One is presumed innocent until proven what? Guilty. Not proven, not guilty. Wow. Uh, New Zealand's, here, and here's where it gets really ugly. Here's the ugly bitch. Ugly cunt. This is, this is cunt face. New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has helped lead a global pledge named the Christchurch Call. Ugh aimed at boosting efforts to keep internet platforms from being used to spread hate, organize extremist groups, and broadcast attacks. New Zealand has also tightened its gun laws and banned certain types of semi-automatic weapons. So here's the cunt right here. Here she is. No, that's not her. <laughs> that's the other cunt. Uh, oh, here she is. So here's, uh, here, 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 here's, isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? You got to be re relentless in this kind of thing, right? This is this is such a look. She's a Muslim. Is that the problem? She's a, she has Arab Arab blood. Is that is it a is a she's taking it personal and 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 broadcasting her personalness to the to the to the greater country and the greater world, repressing people. I got fucking hit because of this, right? I got I got hit. I took a hit for fucking New Zealand, right? Who and who am I? I'm some just guy, some guy sitting in his mother's basement on the other side of the globe, and your bullshit is spilling over into my life, right? 
It's, it's into my eyes. So fuck you, New Zealand. Fuck you, cunt face. Right? You fucking bitch. Uh, so here she is, man. Here she is. Uh, fuck you. Fuck you, man. And your opinion. I don't give a shit about your fucking opinion. <laughs> Sorry about that. I should give a, a profanity alert. It comes from the heart, though. You know what? what I'm, you know, and even in a rant, it comes from the heart. So a guy gets a guy's going to go sit in jail for twenty one months for watching a video that a million people already saw and evaluated and disregarded or whatever, just saw it. What, what difference does it make? Does it make it more, you're making it more appealing because now it's, oh, no, 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 the fucking video, damn, you see the fucking, you see the video? Oh, man, you see that video? It's fucking awesome. That's what you do. You create the, you create the, uh, the, the need. You create a, a black market for, for, for fucking three-minute video that may or not be evidence in a case because we don't know the evidence in the case. Why? Because there hasn't been a trial yet and a man is pleading not guilty, right? Until we see all of the evidence and a man is convicted, maybe then it becomes a snuff video and something illegal. But at this point, it's not any of those things because we don't know it to be true. Do we? Do we? Is it true? Because, right, it's not, it can't be true until a court finds it true, right? That's the way the system's set up. If you don't like the system, change the system. In New Zealand, let's say you're guilty until we prove, until you can prove yourself you're innocent, right? And to the, to the journalists in New Zealand, the people that are taking this sitting down, fuck you, you're not friends of mine, man. Just take my, take my email, take my, take my contact information, and just delete it because I don't want any part of you fucking guys, right? Fuck you, man. I had some people in New Zealand, no, fuck you. You guys have got to gotta get busy, man. You got to face the music. Your country is 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 shitting on on uh, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and uh, and it's shit and it's affecting my fucking you know it's spilling over into other communities. Marcus Conti re- reporting kindly become a uh, Patreon of this channel sponsor, and uh, don't forget to subscribe because YouTube likes to unsubscribe. Peace. <laughs>